Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel. If you have been blessed with the opportunity to see this video today, I ask that you subscribe to my channel to join the Happy Christian Family. And also please share with friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. In today's video is an urgent warning message from one of our dear sister. I'm going to read it the same way it was delivered to us. No part has been taken out and nothing has been added to the story. Please watch this video to the end as I proceed. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I had an urgent warning message from the Lord I want to share with your channel. A veil of deception has come upon Christians. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, The book of Matthew 7 verse 15 says, Watch out for false prophets, they will come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. For such people are false apostles, deceitful workers, masquerading as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light in 2 Corinthians 7 verse 13 to 14. It seems as if many Christians want to know exactly what is coming and when. They are hungry to know the upcoming disasters and judgments, just like they are watching a TV show or series, or even playing a video game. However, they are missing the point of what the Lord is trying to do and show us. They are not seeing the big picture of what is happening prophetically and in the Spirit. Just like in the days of Jesus, when the Pharisees and people completely missed the point and were deceived to who see who Jesus truly was and his sacrifice on the cross. Now, in the end of days, we are seeing the same veil of deception that is blinding people to the truth of what is really happening. Jesus warned about these deceptions that were part of the end of days. Here is the message I received while praying few days ago. The Lord says, Deception has come and many of my own have fallen for it. They have been blinded to the truth, and if they do not wake up, they will fall into a pit that will devour them. They follow another Jesus now, and not me. For I am found in the Word of God and in the Gospels. It is there that you will find your Master who you are to follow and emulate. Those who follow man are heading down the path of destruction. 2 Timothy 4 verse 3 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching. The Lord says, I will instruct you now on how to get prepared for what is coming, for there will be more tribulations before I return. Seek me on bended knee, for I will meet with you there. Spend alone quality time with me through prayer and the studying of my word. Humble yourselves through repentance. Forgive those who have wronged you, just as the Father have forgiven you. Seek mercy during these times of judgments that I am allowing. Be counted worthy to escape what is coming on the whole world. Fast and pray, pray and fast. Give up and sacrifice for me. It does not have to be food, but something that is near and dear to your heart. Give up for a time and consecrate this sacrifice to me. These are all things that you can do to strengthen our relationship together. 
Pray not to be deceived, but to walk in the light of the truth. As the waves come crashing down, I will extend my hand to you, and will pull you out of the waves of despair and will place your feet firmly on my rock of salvation. Do not look to yourself or man for your comfort during these days, because you will be led astray. It is imperative that you keep your eyes fixated on me alone. Continue to walk in faith, as well as run the race towards the prize of salvation. I will be with those who call out to me, and will forsake them not. Let all those who come to the living water do so with contrite hearts, so I will then hear their request. To my bride, I say that I love you with an everlasting heart, and soon we will be together in glory forever. Your bridegroom and king, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I waited and then asked the Lord if there is anything else, and I heard this. Do you not hear my voice yet? Let me blow the Holy Spirit upon you now, so your ears will be opened. Receive my power now through the Holy Spirit. I anoint you through the power of my blood and the cross. Ears and eyes be open now. I want my people to hear from me, one-on-one -on -one personally. However, they must want that, and they must seek that power. Then it will come. Then I said Amen and Amen. So thank you for watching this video to the end. Please help us get this message out to the rest of the world by sharing to all your friends and family members. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so right away so that you can receive other videos on God's word in the days and weeks ahead. I'm grateful to you and may God continue to bless you till our next meeting.